go ahead and call the August Board Meeting of North Island's Recreation Park District to order. First item on the agenda is the approval of the July 10 minutes. Were there any corrections or changes to those minutes? Carry on to have a motion to approve. So moved. Thank you. Second. I have a motion to second. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Yes. Okay. Four zero one. Next item is chairperson's report. Um, I'd already let the board know that I would not be here for the October board meeting. Well, I just found out last week that my work is setting me away for the September board meeting too. So I will be in Monterey. Um, so I will not be present. Yeah, well, I'm not looking forward to this. Um, so I will be missing the next two meetings. Mr. Monk, thank you for sitting in. <laughs> We'll go ahead and move on to item four, comments from board members. Anyone have anything? No, well, I'm on the agenda. Okay. Um, standing committees, I know we've got budget, finance, and audit, uh, facility acquisition. You're no longer talking now, I understand. Is that correct? Who's, who's chair? Your chair. Thanks, chair. I don't know if that was had to do with uh, the new business, old business item. But it says under old business. Under old business? What was she under old business for? Okay, that's fine. Um, so we'll go ahead and move on to item six, administration report. Larry, is there anything you want to highlight or add to your report? Just real quickly, I provided you uh, some uh, uh, small changes uh, earlier in on the, the uh, Midnight Softball Madness Tournament. Uh, Mr. Fong has withdrawn his uh, request to hold that tournament in October. And uh, briefly on the K Park Snack Bar building update, uh, we had a small glitch which uh, should be remedied by tomorrow. And uh, we're moving forward and hopefully we'll see a building there in about two weeks. Perfect. So any questions for Larry and anything in his report? other pool update at this point? Uh, just uh, from what I've shared with you so far is just that uh, uh, we're not, we're still putting uh, chemicals in the pool. Okay. I'm not sure if the school <coughs> began to use the pool or not, but there's some conflicting information going from the school to the district office about whether they can use it or not. So it's okay. really between them. Okay. All right, Scott, is there anything you want to highlight or add on your report? Just, uh, just a quick reminder that uh, <clears throat> middle of August, 91 degrees outside, that means it's uh, school year time, so Twin River started school today, that means our after school program at Bridgepoint started today, so uh, about between 55 and 60 kids uh, for the first day of school, that number will go up a little bit as the weeks go on in August, and if you didn't get it in your mailbox and you haven't picked up a copy, our uh, fall winter activity guide for 2014-2015 is out and uh, has been distributed to about 9,100 North Island residents. So, like I said, if you don't have a copy, make sure you get one. We're real, real pleased the way it turned out, so I haven't seen one all around. Any questions for Scott? Scott, just a real quick question for you. Um, I noticed in your report that a lot of the summer camp and the aquatics programs have both hit budget uh, projections. Mm -hmm. so congratulations on that. Um, the pool rentals through July generating $2,300, mm -hmm. $75. Is that on par with projections? Actually, we ended up um, uh, pretty well above projection for the summer. Um, we did a little more focused marketing on letting folks know that we had a pool that was available for rent. And since we're not open on the weekends, we were able to maximize those down hours with some private parties. So we budgeted around, uh, off the top of my head, around 3,600 for the summer. We ended up closer to 6,500. So it was a it was a good summer. Wow. Good cool. Congratulations. Yeah. Great job to you and staff. The only thing I wanted to add is, um, since it's a recreation report, um, the Sunday after our last board meeting, uh, Channel 3 did a story on the Aviation Museum, mm -hmm. and during the weather they showed Freedom Park. Mm -hmm. Nice little bit if anybody caught that. Yeah. yeah, so, I guess we already had a camera crew out there. Needed filler, so it was very good. They did a good job. 
but at that point, the splash pad was working. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It still worked. We just yeah, turned right, yeah. <laughs> <Splash Yeah>. it <laughs> on. <laughs> okay. All right, so moving on to correspondence, uh, we have two items, but both of those will be handled. One under 10A new business, one under 10B new business. Uh, next thing is uh, item A comments and reports from citizens and organizations. Uh, I have one speaker right now, Jeff Dunleavy. Yes. You're on. I'm up.
which is situated perfectly between three of the canopies where people can sit if there's uh, uh, sun out there. So we're going to utilize the park as designed. So uh, we look forward to a great event. So just getting the word out, you'll see us again in September and October, announcing it, passing out flyers. Uh, so we'll let everybody know. Thank you. Any other questions before? All right. I noticed Highlands High School Alumni Association. Yeah, aren't, you member, aren't you a board member or something? No, I was elected one initially, but it didn't end okay, up happening. Really so, yeah. Okay. All right, great. Thank you. Okay, appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you. Jeff. Always some black and white sort of All right. Thank you. Great. Scott, are we going to have a booth up there pushing our we are. programs? Awesome. All right. Uh, anyone else wish to speak on anything that's not on the posted agenda? All right, we'll go ahead and move on to item nine, unfinished business. Uh, there's only one item that has now been dropped from the agenda. So we're gonna move on to item 10, new business A, request by Supreme Pro Wrestling for a wrestling show fundraiser. Someone here. Yeah, there used to be, there's not one. Yes, uh, I'm Reverend Last. Uh, my name is Nehemiah Johnson first. Uh, that's my uh, co-worker, confidant, oh boy, if you would, uh, Brother Flynn III. Uh, we're here under uh, Supreme Pro Wrestling. Um, we're trying to raise, uh, do a fundraiser here for uh, Masters at the um, After School Program, FC Joyce. Uh, this is uh, the first time I've worked with this company um, here in North Highlands. Uh, so what we're trying to do is bring more uh, superstars uh, that are widely known and from, from here to Nevada, to Los, uh, Los Angeles and back to come and do shows for our students here in North Highlands. So that's why we're looking to uh, do a program here at your uh, high school. I'm assuming the dates are already working okay. Anyone have any questions? Okay. Yeah, I see a familiar face in the audience. Are you now with this organization? Is this Not officially. But, uh, okay. We'll talk. I know that we've had very we've had yeah. confidence in you yes. and your presentations in yes. the past, and, and yes. it would give us it would lend us some still the same some assurance that yes. Okay. So what, just re, just refresh my mind on masters and what you're doing with the money there. Uh, yeah, go ahead and tell me about that a little bit. Uh, masters is an after school program, much like the ones you guys have here. Uh, we take care of uh, 16 schools in uh, Twin Rivers, uh, in Thomas, and Sac City uh, school districts. Um, I run the, the after school program here at FC Joyce. Um, the, and the money will help us uh, pay for sports, uh, sports snacks and stuff throughout our uh, year of sports that we have. We have six different sports that we're trying to take care of. So we try to provide the uh, juices and oranges and what, uh, whatnot for our games for our students can't only afford that. So that's what, this, what these fundraisers do for us. Are so, you gentlemen employed by the school district? I'm employed. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. If you recall, I was uh, I was with them as well when we did our first meetings for uh, our other company as well. Okay. So will the, these funds stay just at FC Joyce or all the locations? I do for the for that after school sports program it helps all the sports okay. programs as well. Okay. Because I noticed in the letter it says you're requesting a discount for the building. Yes, sir. I uh, believe it was uh, uh, the before it was uh, 150 instead of the normal price, gotcha. and I was asking that because uh, is that correct? Okay. Uh, I was asking that because I wanted to make sure that we can bring as much money as we can to our sports program. Okay. Yes, sir. So if, if you are as you asking, if we can get it to uh, go right into 150, or okay. if, the less the better. But I know when we do it, our previous one was 150, and I bought Okay. Uh, what's the cost going to be? Uh, It'll be around around hundred dollars okay. for the monitor. All right. Anyone have any questions? No. What's everybody's idea? Feel good about it. Feel yeah. good about it too. All right. If so, make a motion to allow uh, Supreme Pro Wrestling to use the uh, facility, the building, the basketball gym on 